Hello everybody and welcome back. Again, my name is Steven. I work for MisfitPixGallery.com and today what I'm going to be showing you in Photoshop CS6 is exactly how to make chrome texting. This is a very interesting effect. It's very easy as well. If you just follow my directions, you'll be able to make chrome text just as well as I can. So, what you got to do is you got to open a new one. Uh, 600 by 300, that sounds good. Zoom in just a bit so that everyone can see what I'm doing. And we're going to go texting, like, nothing too specific. Or I'm just going to go Chrome. Put that right in the center there. There you have it. I'm going to back up just to dissipate my pixels. There we go. Okay. So, first thing that you want to do is unlock your background. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the color to black, just basically so that um, you're able to see exactly what I'm doing. So let's go black. Done. So push OK on that. And then you go with your text. There we go. Change color overlay. We're going to change this back to white. Done. So that's perfect. <coughs> Sorry, white chrome on a black background. So, now that you've had your text written out and you're all ready to go, you go with your layer style of your beveling and emboss right up here. And then you go into, actually click into it. So you're actually, when it's highlighted, you'll actually be able to see what, um, what you're doing here. And into shading. What you got to do is you got to take your occupancy to all the way to 100%. And we're going to now change the color. I find that the best type, uh, the best one that actually works out really well is A4, A4, A4. Done. And you just push OK. So now that you've got your color all ready to go, let's try and bring this up. So now you go into your gloss contour. You've got about 12 different options. I like to use this 12th one down in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that and it's already getting going here. Okay, so then into structure. You just push with the contour. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm, my bad. So up into structure, you can change your size just by going something like that and then just basically level it off the way that you feel like it if you go all the way to 100 percent you're gonna I'm sorry 250 pixels you're actually gonna lose a lot of your detail and if you have not enough it's gonna have again you're gonna not have enough detail so if you want to put it to about let's put it to right about there I'm at 18 pixels and that's the best way that I notice on how you're able to actually when you get these lines going on this is going to be perfect when I'm done with it you're actually able to soften it as well but again I would keep it just as sharp as possible and now you're able to start moving your depth when you start moving your depth it's actually going to start to uh, corrode in on itself and it'll show and you'll just start bringing out a lot of the detail towards chrome it's just a really cool effect if you like again if you don't have enough there's going to be no real effect there so let's put it at about 164 that sounds about good and there you are it's already perfect on its own but i want it to be better so let, i'm going to click on contour click actually into it and now i've got more range so now that you're able to actually bring it out a lot more like that, and you're actually able to change it some more. You got all sorts of different types of options. And any way that you feel fits perfectly with what you want to do. I find that the best one is right here. And just click OK. And there you have it. I have a complete Chrome. Uh, picture right here, uh, Chrome text right here. You can do this with any kind of text, 
you can actually do this with any kind of color if you don't necessarily want it to be exactly like this chrome effect you want it to be a different color but you want the same effect going on just follow this video don't follow the color so thank you very much for watching I'm just gonna close this thank you very much for watching again and um, please subscribe to my channel I'll check you out really soon and if you have any more questions or comments please check out my forums page on misfitpixgallery.com or please leave them below have a great day